that his data is there through the, the, the friends for over 40 years. But he was the first person that I recruited to the National Commercial Bank. Um, I was the manager of the bank. I made him the assistant manager of the bank and also assigned him to the trust company. Mr. Ramdell was a very simple man. Despite the fact that he had attained such high office, he remained that same simple Ganesh Ramdial. Great personal integrity, unquestionable sincerity, there's no doubt about that, and a very affable disposition. I can't remember him being angry. He really wanted the Senate to be a meeting of minds, and he didn't want anybody to think that any part of the Senate was more important than the other. Combining professionalism and modesty, Ganesh Ramdiel epitomizes the quiet leader. Focused, realistic, and an effective listener, he led with an open mind and collaborative style. I saw Mr. Ramdial was at a famous double spot on the southern main road in Curep. I was trying to get the attention of the doubles vendor because at that time of day you have a whole host of fellas, an endless line of them who are buying and eating doubles there and they have first priority. Anyway, I was there struggling, trying to get in and to catch the, the doubles man eye and I heard somebody calling me. When I look back, there he was, the former president, same smile, same face, and he was in a, a SUV, which was well packed. And you, I imagine that they were off on some cross country joint. But they parked the SUV and we started eating doubles. We had the doubles, we drank some of the stuff that was in the SUV. And before we knew it, we were talking national affairs in the middle of a parliament of doubles buyers, more noisy than any of his Senate meetings. Oh, it was very clear. He, he was very nationalistic conscious. Uh, he could have gone to any other bank, but he chose the National Commercial Bank because he wanted to to do something with respect to the patrimony. He wanted to do something uh, to make Trinidad and Tobago a better place. Committed to human development, Ganis Ramdiel bore many sterling qualities. He was fiercely loyal, um, and not just to me or the bank and his family and whatever he was involved with. And loyalty is, is a great value, fiercely loyal. In fact, he was so loyal that there were only two persons I could turn my back on at the bank and not get stabbed in the back, and he was one of those two. That, that was the strength of his loyalty. So loyalty, very strong. Also, he was um, very, what I would say is, he was competent. You can be loyal, but then you don't have the ability he was competent. That competence uh, extended in very many ways, uh, including a very strong ability to listen. He was an amazing listener. That, I think, was his prime quality. He was an amazing listener. I don't know how anybody can concentrate for so many hours on the kind of stuff we parliamentarians serve up. I would say he was politically sensitive, not politically active. Um, in fact, he could not be politically active and hold the position he was holding and do it as well as he was doing it. Um, but all his qualities, especially the loyalty one, came into play because one of his best friends was Mr. Basio Pandey from boyhood. 
so that he couldn't help associate with him, but do it in such a way that it was proper. He used his skills very quietly, it was not voiced abroad, to help on the management and organization structure of, of the UNC. Trained in banking, finance, management and law, Ramdial was well poised for his appointment as Senate President in 1995. He came over as a warm, serene man with a sense of humor and immense patience. I used to think of him as a benign Buddha, solent, patient, and enduring. It was his humility and impartiality that earned him the respect of members. Whenever he's in the president's chair, there was that kind of confidence and assurance in all of us that we have a chairman who will understand us. I don't think that independents and oppositions had any kind of fear or any kind of misgivings about his chairmanship. Presidents of the Senate including Mr. Ramdial, had greater respect for independent senators than the government itself did. That he would never look down on an independent senator as not having a constituency. Unassuming yet astute, Ganis Ramdial presided with a gentle but firm hand. He was not easy to get around. You could not intimidate him. If you flattered him, he would smile, appear to take the basket, and go on to do just what he was going to do in keeping with his good judgment. A good mediator, he exercised his powers judiciously. On one occasion, when the votes were tied, he voted against the party that had made him president of the Senate. And he did that in keeping with the principle that when there is a tie and the government was trying to change the status quo, a casting vote should not be used to help them to scrape through. The vote should be cast against the government, obliging them to go away, think about the objections that had been made and come back another day to make a better case. At times during his tenure, he acted as president of the country. He never saw that, that as an office that he must, must just go after. In fact, he thought that it was uncomfortable sometimes to have all these outriders and security people with him and, and go to the president's house, his office and so on. Uh, it was a little extra for him. He had to do it anyhow, but it was something that he never flaunted. Despite his sense of humor, Ganis Ramdiel never lost sight of the importance of the nation's business. He was very good at the committee stage. Now, the committee stage is when we have agreed on a piece of legislation, and we're now sitting down to fine-tune it, looking to correct spelling, punctuation, wipe out ambiguities, and so on. He was like a headmaster. He would sit there and he would say, We'd call him chairman at this point because he's no longer presiding over the Senate. Mr. Chairman, um, I wonder what this thing means there. Does that mean that we would get locked up if you do this? He'd say, well, well, what, 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 you want to change it? What do you want? And tell him and so on, and he'd take it very serious and very quick to recognize, even if you made it as a joke, right, that something was ambiguous. 
Mr. Mr. Chairman, that seems to mean that if so and so happened, so and so would happen, you know, you might say, oh, so, so how can we clean that up? He was very quick to take the point when you suggested an adjustment to something that we had passed. Ganesh Ramdiel served as Senate President from 1995 to 2002. In 2003, he was nominated by the UNC for President of the Republic. However, George Maxwell Richards secured the majority of votes in the Electoral College. Ramdiel then retired from public life, but remained the quiet leader he always was. Honesty, respect, and caring for others is first and foremost what I would have learned from him. He always carried this unusual smile on his face that always melted the hearts, I think, of people. When he walked, he walked with dignity. He is a serious man, but he smiles sometimes. And when he smiles and laughs, it's infectious.